Hello, this is Dr. Gay from First Look MRI, and this is a patient who had a recent sprain of the ankle playing basketball, and this is just a very basic, classic case. One of the most common things we see when we do an ankle MRI, and it's just a tear of their lateral ligament complex here, uh, predominantly involving the anterior talofibular ligament and also the calcaneofibular ligament. So every time we look at the ankle, the main place to look, especially if they had a sprain, is out here in the anterior lateral. Here's the medial side, lateral side, anterior lateral corner here. We have the talus that looks square here, we have the fibula here, and in this area, the, we call this the anterolateral gutter, we look for fluid here and we look for that anterior talofibular ligament. And we see fluid here, so right off the bat you say, yep, there is fluid in the anterolateral gutter, they probably have a tear of the anterior talofibular ligament. So now let's go find that. So we're going to go up to the very top. This is the anterior tibiofibular ligament. Here's the joint. We're getting above. Here's the tibia. We're going to go down. We see this little black line coming sideways here. Here's another one back here. This is the anterior and posterior tibiofibular ligaments. These are small and hard to see, but uh, they're not torn that often, and everything looks pretty clean. But these are intact. So we're going to go down. I'm sorry, down, down. Usually about two or three cuts below this. One, two, three. This is where we see the anterior talofibular ligament. And we should see a linear band coming across here towards the squared off area. And where it starts to round right here, it attaches there too. So right in this area, we should see a nice straight ligament. But instead, we see part of it here maybe. Here it's foggy. And there's fluid out here. It's uplifted. So this is a ruptured anterior talofibular ligament with fluid in the anterolateral gutter. And oftentimes, the calcaneofibular ligament will also be torn. And the calcaneofibular ligament is very small, hard to see, but this is it right here coming off the back and it comes forward underneath the perineus tendons right here and it comes sideways and we should be able to see it come up attached but this is also torn we can see that a little bit better on the coronal images and so again this is a classic tear the lateral ligament complex with the anterior talofibular ligament rupture and calcaneofibular ligament rupture and the next thing is to look at the interosseous membrane to make sure it is not torn and so if we go to this view here We'll slide on down. They have a lot of signal dropout up here, unfortunately, but we can still see that they do have a little black linear band here that is the interosseous membrane or syndesmotic ligament here. There's a little bit of fluid that goes up here, which is normal. It just can't go up very high. Uh, usually it's a centimeter or less. On this, we also see that they have some edema out here in the lateral side and also some bone bruises on the opposite side because there's an inversion injury. These bones kiss together and impacted and here it's stretched on the outside and has that ligament rupture. Now let's look at that pesky calcaneofibular ligament. So this is the calcaneus where posterior, that little dot there is a calcaneofibular ligament. We're going to go backwards, now we're going to go forward. There it is, forward, forward. It's wrapping underneath the perineus tendons. And we'll go forward, maybe it's right here. If you can see down here, it's pretty far away from the tip of the fibula. And you can see the periosteum is pulled off the fibula here over one more. And maybe it's down here. So there's a separation between the fibula and that calcaneofibular ligament. So it is also torn. And that's it. Just a little quick basic case of a ruptured anterior talofibular ligament with fluid in the anterolateral gutter and an associated tear of the calcaneofibular ligament and some bone bruises along the medial side there from an inversion injury. So thank you very much.